Welcome to Storytime with Grammy Field. Today's book is called A Home for Dakota. It's written by Jan Zeta Grover and Nancy Lane. In that place, it was always dark and cold. We lived in shaky towers of wire cages, dogs above, dogs below. We could hear each other, but we couldn't touch or see or warn each other. It was cold and I had no fur. The only warmth I remember was puppies, many, many puppies, but they were taken away each time and I didn't see them again. One chilly morning, lights crisscrossed our darkness. The big door swung open and I saw the lighted eyes of trucks. Our towers of cages came down. A human they called Emma with a low comforting voice carried my crate into the inside of the truck. I fell asleep in the unfamiliar rocking warmth. <clears throat> I awoke in a soft nest. Beyond me, I saw a very bright light. I could see fresh water in the corner of my little room. I hadn't walked for so long that I could barely take a step without falling. You can do it, sweet girl. You can do it, cried Emma. My feet were sore. My long nails slipped and slid on the shiny floor. I fell down hard and couldn't get up again. My insides melted and hot pee flowed out of me. I began to paint pant. I just wanted to go back into the familiar dark. There, there, little sister, Emma said. I'm going to give you a new name. You aren't number 241 anymore. You're Dakota now. I'm going to clean you up and you'll feel better. The fur on the tips of your ears can grow back now. I think your coat will grow back too. You won't itch anymore. This ointment, it should take care of your eye infection. I wanted to thank her. I licked her hand. Thank you, Dakota, she said, and she hugged me. It was my first hug. Emma carried me back to my warm nest in a big towel. Waiting for me was a bowl of wonderful smelling food my mouth flooded with sudden hunger. I ate and ate, and then I settled down and slept again. <clears throat> days followed days, and sometimes I walked painfully down the hall to visit Emma in her office. While she worked, I lay at her feet, listening to the rustle of her papers until I slept. I started to grow wisps of fur. You're almost ready now, said Dakota, Emma would say. Look at you. You look like a little dandelion. One morning, Emma brought three other people to see me. The small one didn't have any more fur on her head than I did. I don't like her. She's ugly, the girl said. She doesn't have any fur and her ears are all weird. They look like they've been chewed and look, someone cut her tail. I didn't understand many human words yet, but I knew when words were kind or mean, these sounded mean. I began to shake all over. Dakota is growing new hair, sweetie, Emma said, just like you will when you get better. Wouldn't it be fun to grow new hair together? No, the girl named Sweetie said, I want a perfect dog. <clears throat> Emma came back to see me after they left. Don't feel bad, Dakota, she said. I've been out to visit them, and I think they're the right family for you. Sweetie's going to love you for who you are. 
She just needs a little time. Many days later, those three came back. Sweetie looked at me again, and this time, her voice sounded kind. I've been thinking a lot about you, Dakota, she said. Let's try. I didn't want to leave Emma and the dear familiar smells and sounds. Just try it a little, Dakota, Emma said. I'll be waiting for you if it doesn't work out. I rode away in a warm car alongside Sweetie. I can practically count your hairs, she said and laughed. Mine too. Sweetie has a big nest, and I get to sleep in it. I curl up with her when she isn't feeling well, and when she reads, and when she sleeps. Sometimes Sweetie rubs good smelling stuff all over my feet because Emma told her it would heal them. Sweetie says, I'm so sorry, Dakota. I'm sorry for every day I didn't take you home. I don't count days the way people do. Sweetie loves me and I love her. And that's all that matters. And we've both been growing hair. Thank you for joining me for Storytime with Grammy Field. I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if not on the YouTube, at least on the Facebook page so that you can know when new stories are being added. Have a great day.